Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. If you guys are new here, my name is Esperanza. I'm a full-time content creator living in Pittsburgh with my fiance and our Labradoodle Indio. And I'm originally from the Pacific Northwest. So in today's video, I'm doing a a little bit of a hodgepodge of footage that I've been filming throughout the week. So there's a portion of this video that's going to be kind of like a home decor shop with me. There are sections that are about my plants and repotting plants and then also a little bit of decorating. So it's kind of just like a hodgepodge, also kind of like a haul. So there's footage from different days and you'll definitely see what I'm talking about and I'm just kind of like filming my intro and outro now. But let's go ahead and get into the video. So we took a little trip to Walmart and I ended up buying this new cookware set from the Time and Table line and I also picked up these knives. Um, I'd really been needing some new knives and cookware. We had to kind of get rid of the ones we had in Portland when we moved and then I was just making do with the ones we have, but it is time to replace them. So I figured I'd just get a whole set because one of these is like 25 or 30 or something, but this whole set, which is the 12 piece set, was only 75. So it was a really good deal and these look super pretty. I love the green color and the brass accents and I think that it will look super cute in our kitchen. all of those unpacked and I think they look so pretty. I love the screen color for my kitchen. I think it ties in super well and so do the knives in my little knife block. And here's a little bit of a closer look at the pans. Um, the pans have like this really cool look to them and then we've got really pretty green color and brass accents. I also picked up this set of knives from the same line for only $12. I wanted to show you guys how I repot these um, plant cuttings that I'm propagating currently, but only two out of the five have roots so far. Um, and then the other couple don't have roots yet, which is super weird because it's been several weeks now. And the two that do have roots, the roots are starting to get pretty long. So I'm gonna wait just a couple more days, hoping that the other ones get roots too, because I wanted to repot all of them at the same time and have kind of a medium-sized golden pothos. So we won't be able to do that, but I do have this beautiful golden pothos that I want to repot and actually hang from a different spot. And then I'm gonna switch this out with a different golden pothos that I have. So I got this recently and I haven't repotted it yet just because it's kind of a good idea to let it sit in the pot that he brought it home in before switching it to a new one so it can like acclimate. And it's not been doing very well where it is currently in the hanging basket because I don't think it gets enough sun. So I think if I switch over here where it does get a lot of sun, it'll start to grow longer. And I feel like that one's at a good size and I don't really need to get it, need it to get much longer. So, and plus it would look super pretty hanging where this one was. Okay, so I got those repotted and the marble queen pothos as you can see is looking pretty wilty but i think over here in the kitchen where it's going to get more sun it'll be a lot happier and be able to thrive and then i'll show you guys where i'm going to put this golden pothos now okay so here is what that pothos looks like in its new home i think it looks super good here i love how long the vines hang it just looks really good for a hanging basket and then I do have another large golden pothos here that I'll probably end up moving somewhere else and putting a different type of plant there, maybe like a snake plant or something. We'll see, but I think that looks really good. And it's already so long, I don't need it to grow much longer or faster. So I think that'll be a good 
spot for it. Hey guys, so I'm currently running some errands and I'm gonna pop into TJ Maxx and Marshalls. Hopefully they have some cute plant pots. I went to Target the other day and they'd gotten rid of all of theirs that were in the garden center for back to school college type stuff. So hopefully I can still find some at TJ Maxx and Marshalls. I know that they had some cute ones earlier this summer. So hopefully they are still there. <music> pots that I ended up getting from Marshalls. All of them are on clearance. These are both four and I think that one was like seven or something. And then this one is just like an old pot that I have. I tried planting my pilia in there and it was too tight of a squeeze and it was actually kind of suffocating it. So I placed it in here just for now and I need to put more soil in there and get it firmly planted but I love how all three of these coordinate together super well and they definitely have that boho feel that I'm going for. Okay guys, so I have my pots here. I have my pillion that I need to put a little bit more soil in. And then I have my pothos cuttings here that I've been propagating and need to pot as well. Okay, so it looks like one, two, still only two of these have roots. So I've been waiting for like several weeks and only two out of the four sprouted roots and the other two still happen. So I'm gonna go ahead and leave those now. The ones that do have roots, you don't wanna leave in the water too long. Otherwise it's not gonna be as good for them when you repot them. And these are borderline too long, but I'm just gonna go ahead and try. Um, Pothos are usually pretty resilient, so should be fine either way. So I'm gonna let those dry while I put some more soil in this one. here with a little bit of soil and then give it some water and see how it does over the next few days. I'll just have to keep an eye on it. Okay, so here are what those plants look like. I think I might keep the pilia here on the dining table and then I'll find a home for the snake plants. And then this pot I will probably use for the other pothos cuttings whenever those are ready to be potted. I also got this really cute shower curtain from the Casa Luna line, which I'm going to be filming for a TikTok video, so I probably won't open it today since there's not enough light in the bathroom right now, but I'm super excited about it. I think the color is super pretty and it's gonna look so good in my bathroom. Okay guys, so that is it for this video. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. And if you guys aren't subscribed to my channel already, please be sure to subscribe for more thrifting, home and styling videos. And also be sure to follow me along on my other socials at The Urban Darling. I am on Twitter, I am on Pinterest, I am everywhere. And then I also have my blog, theurbandarling.com. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye. Thank you.